Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to learn how you can handle calendars in Selenium Python. So in the previous tutorial, we have already seen how you can handle auto suggestion drop down. Now in the travel website, you have the auto suggestion drop downs to select depart from going to that's very common, right? And even the calendar. So which dates you are going and returning? That's very common. So we have done the first bit. Now let's go ahead and see how you can select the dates from the departure or return date. So say for example, in this case, once I click on departure date, it opens this particular calendar, right? So as we have seen about the auto select or auto suggest drop down that the first way is to manually identify say for example I want to click on 8th of July right so I can right click on that particular date click on inspect and it's it's a normal web element as you can see and I'll open this selector sub and simply copy this relative X path and if you see this this is a dynamic and it this is not recommended way to basically copy the X path and use it um, most of the time selectors hub will give you suggestion that if if the um, X path is dynamic and then you have to basically update it here in the console so if you haven't watched the X path series and CSS series by me and Sanjay um, just go ahead and enroll on the RCV Academy portal or watch on YouTube it's all free there so simply um, click on this so as of now to expedite this process I will simply say for example you have written the robust expat to click on this 8th of July we'll copy that and the first way is to basically click on that particular web element so when will this calendar appear so calendar first appears first thing you have to do is you have to click on the departure date so for example you are going one way so first thing we have to do click on the departure date right so we have to inspect the departure date first and we will copy this relative expat this looks good um, the relative expat so I'll copy this as well and once I click on this departure date I will click on the actual date that I want to click so let me quickly implement that let me copy these expats here right so I will extend the same code because we want to select the dates as well and then click on search right so it will be helpful how to select auto suggest drop down depart in two and then select the calendar dates as well so this is first way but this is not the recommended way I'm covering this so that you know the options that you can take in order to handle calendars okay so first thing we'll just say we'll find the element so we'll say driver dot find element and then we want to find the element by X path and we want to click on this one right the origin date so first we need to click on it only then the calendar will appear okay so let me store it in the so uh, let me store it in the variable so I'll say origin okay and then we'll click on it so we'll say origin and dot click so once the click will happen the calendar will appear right and after calendar has appeared I can click on the date that is specific date that appears on the calendar so say for example I want to click on this particular date then I can simply say driver and then find element by X path or not this one. I'll use find element better and I will say by dot path and provide this particular X path and then simply dot click. Right. So this will click on that particular date. All right. So I'm just extending on this auto suggest. So it will suggest the to and from and then it should click on 8th of July. Right. So after clicking or selecting this particular value let me put some sleep all right so i'll put a sleep of four seconds so here let me put one more sleep after clicking this origin so that we can see everything properly right or and there might be synchronization issue that will create the problem that might create the problem right and we'll understand all about synchronization issues and different weights in upcoming tutorials so don't worry about that so let me run this now this is not the recommended way to select the dates I'll explain how you can select dates in very efficient way so it will open yathra.com it should um, select the depart and then go into destinations it has selected depart from going to we'll click on the departure date now and then it should click on the 8th of July right it has selected 8th of July that as you can see in the departure date and we'll close the browser okay now this is one of the way wherein you hard code the value or you get the X path of the value that you want to select now this is not the correct X path that you should use you should you you should write the robust X path if you are following this approach to select those values but say for example you want to pass on these values externally and want to 
uh, have a control that you choose the departure date and the uh, other dates that you want to apply in your trip through the external files in your test cases. So in that particular case, this is not what you should be following up. Um, the better approach is to use whatever we have understood in this previous tutorial for the drop downs, the auto suggest drop downs as well. Right. So now the second approach is say, for example, here, right, let me close this. Now, in this particular case, I have clicked on the departure date, right? And I want to select any of the values. So based on, say, for example, I passed on the 5th of August from my external file and I want to choose it or I want to select uh, 5th of July. So any date that I provide from the external file or any ways randomized file, I want to select that in that in this particular calendar. So if you use this hard coded mechanism, this is not going to work because this is X path is very specific to that particular date. OK, so what we need to do is we need to basically write something where we can control the selection of the date and how we can do it. We will simply use the same logic that we use. So we need to find all the elements that represent the dates. So in this particular uh, case here for this particular website, if I inspect this particular web element. OK, so if you see all these dates are part of this TD, right TD tag. And then there is a table row. OK, so TR and then below TR, you'll see that these dates are there. So there is a table, then table has the body. So that's how these dates are being represented, right? You, you can see that as I hover, these values will be selected accordingly. So how to handle that? So we have to basically write an X path or the selector that will give me all these particular dates that I can get all these dates and then I will use a loop to iterate over these dates and then based on the value that I provide from external file or in the code itself, it should click on that particular web element. OK, so same approach that I used in the previous tutorial for auto selection, we simply have to first find the web element. OK, or the web element that will give me all these dates. So how to if we just expand this, right? So if you see that here, so div ID is month wrapper, right? So this month wrapper or this div contains all these dates, right? So we can simply say start from writing. So we can simply say div and then we'll start. We'll say at ID and then what is the ID? We'll simply say month wrapper, right? So we'll say month wrapper here and this will give me basically this whole thing, right? Now below this, I'm interested in getting all these web elements which contain the dates. OK, so the next thing that, I'm, that I want to do is I want to go into the below this div. I want to go into the table body, right? So I can simply go here. So I'll simply say table body, OK, and followed by all the TDs, right? Because these are the so TD is the tag that contains the dates, right? So if you see these rows also represent this Sunday, Monday, the days as well. So we are interested in the all the TD tags. OK, and what we are trying to do is we are not we don't want this Sunday, Monday as well, right? So we want to exclude these. So if you go and analyze these tags, TD tags, right? So you will say that there is a class inactive TD, which represents if you go up above. So if you if I hover over, right? So let me just hover over this. OK, if I select this, you will see that this is the X path and here these above these just let me not here. Let me say, for example, I click on this. OK, so here you will see that these are some of the inactive inactive columns as well or in a, inactive sections as well and which has the class inactive TD, right? So what I can do here is I want to have only TDs or the tags with TD, which are not having this inactive TD class. So what I can do is I can write in the TD, I can say at class is not equal to right. So I want to say not equal to inactive. So in this particular case, I will get all the dates, right? So you can see as soon as I enter, it has highlighted all the dates. OK, so you, you can see it has highlighted all the dates and there are some which are there highlighted, which are blank, but that's fine. I mean, you can work with this as of now and then learn the X path and basically refine this. So this is not the perfect one that I'm showing you here. This is just to show you that how 
tricky things can become when you work on the real application rather than the dummy application and i always recommend go and work on the real website because this is the actual work that you'll be doing in your organizations okay so this i'll simply copy because this is sufficient for us to learn i'm not explaining xpath or css selectors here but you can go ahead and learn xpath and css selectors from our series that we have posted on the youtube channel and you will learn to write a much better xpath that i have written here once you learn all those concepts okay so this is the quick one let me copy that because we are now getting all the dates highlighted so which, which will be which will be uh, good enough to work with okay so now i'll use this particular locator and find all the web elements that contain these dates so i will say let me say all dates variable so we'll say all dates and then we'll simply use driver dot find elements this time right so we want to find all the elements so we'll say find elements and we'll say by dot xpath and we'll provide this xpath because this this xpath will return me locators for all the dates okay now if i will say all dates dot text it will be it will return me the text that is contained in those dates now let's see what is better to use in this particular case. So once we get the date, the next thing is we use the for loop. Okay, so we will simply say for date in all dates. Okay, so let's say for dates in all dates. What we want to do is we want to check, say for example, I want to click on 5th of July. Okay, so we want to check. So if date or say for example, date dot and we have learned about the method get attribute okay if you notice closely here so we have the attribute right so we have these attribute date data uh, data hyphen date and then we have this you know title and then we have this class right so if i want to click on say for example this third of may right so there is an attribute if i get this value attribute value somehow then i can compare this value based on the external value that i'll provide okay so external value what i can provide i can say click on this particular date and then for this web element i'll get this value by the attribute if both of them matches it will click on that particular web element okay so what we need to do is we'll simply say date dot get attribute and we have understood about this get attribute method and that's why basics are important and learning things in sequence is important so that you know concept first and then you know where to use those okay so now we know that there selenium provides get attribute and we will get the attribute right so which attribute value we want to get we want to get the attribute value which is stored in this data hyphen date so we'll copy this and we want to get the value attribute value of this so what this will return is this will return me the date right so this will return me this particular value right so whatever value is stored so in this case say for example this will return this particular values okay so it will return all those values that are stored in this attribute okay and if this value that has been returned in this case now we'll compare right so if this is equal to so we'll use equal to and now we can simply type in the value so we can simply say 30 so say for example i want to click on 30th of june 2021 okay so we just provide we, we just provide this particular date in the same format uh, that we are getting there right so here if you see here that it we are getting it like the day the month and then the year okay so we simply provide that particular format and if the date found or the date found here by the get attribute for that web element matches this value that we are providing from external right so this is this at the moment we are hard coding here but usually what we'll do is you will say for example this is random value that you want to randomize or you are passing it through excel or csv file from external okay so that will be replaced here and this will be checked right so now the next thing is if that's the case then i want to say date dot click right and if this date has been masked then on that particular date it will click once click has happened we simply want to break right we do not want to keep executing this loop again and again because there will be exceptions or errors because once the date is clicked the calendar disappears right so that's why you have to break if you do not break selection will happen but there will be exception in the code and i'll explain all this in the interview series because these are very important concepts to master 
So now this is the only code that you will be basically requiring to select the dates. Okay. First approach is this one, which is very simple approach. Second approach is what you will be usually using in your frameworks, etc. There might be better approaches. There will definitely be better approaches. Um, try to think about not just refer to what teachers are basically teaching. So there is always a better way to work out. Okay, so once you done, once you are done with this, what we'll do is we'll simply provide some sleep there. So we'll say time dot sleep and we'll say four seconds of sleep after clicking so that we can see that this date selection has happened. All right. And then we will now let's say let's run it. Okay, so let me comment these initial date selections. Okay, not these ones because these are required, right? So we are clicking on the date and then we need to select it, this as well. So we are just deselecting the date selection with the initial approach that we have taken. Okay, so let me run this now and see that the date selection is working perfectly fine. It should open yathra.com, select depart from, select going to, click on departure date and then it should select 30th of June. You can see 30th of June has been selected successfully and then closed. Right. Now, say for example, now I want to select a different date from the external file. I'll pass just a different date. Right. So I do not have to worry about these X path for each specific date. I simply can change the values here. Now, instead of 30th of July, I want to select 22nd of August. Okay. So let me change the date and see if it works perfectly fine in that particular case as well. So it will open the website, select depart from going to once going to has been selected, it will go to the date selection. And then this time it should select 22nd of August, right? You can see 22nd of August has been selected successfully. So this is the approach that is much efficient, better way to handle the calendars in Selenium WebDriver with Python. So I hope this was a helpful tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.